Hello Virgo, welcome to another love reading. We're going to be looking at how your person is currently thinking or feeling about you. What are their intentions or next actions towards you? Uh, keep in mind that these readings are meant to be general, so they cannot and will not resonate with every Virgo watching. So take what resonates for you, what applies to you. All right, Spirit for Virgo. I am going to be using the Animal Spirit deck today to kind of see how you both feel about each other or your connection for Virgo, please. Huge thank you to everyone who has commented, liked, subscribed. Um, liking the videos helps out the channel a lot, as well as subscribing. So thank you to those of you that have done that. All right, let's get into this, Virgo. Let's look at your person first. Spirit, tell me about Virgo's person, the person they are. This will be for those of you, by the way, that already have someone in mind or in some sort of a connection. Okay, tell me about Virgo's person. What are their thoughts or feelings about this connection? Taurus had this too. Entanglements, unhealthy attachments, some sort of codependency there with the octopus. So I feel like maybe Virgo, your person's thinking that there are entanglements between you or something that's a bit unhealthy here. We'll see. What else for Virgo's person? Maybe your person feels this way towards you, like they can't let you go. Watching and waiting with the crocodile. Interesting, the crocodile is very patient. Hold on, I have the whale at the bottom of the deck here. So it could be that the, your person has a lot of emotion for you, deep emotions for you, Virgo. Okay, let's see. Virgo, how do you feel about this person or this connection? Spirit, tell me about Virgo. What are Virgo's energies in this connection? Taurus, same interesting. If you're dealing with a Taurus, go check out that reading because I got these energies flipped. The octopus was on this side and the horse was on the other side. The horse, I'm gonna tell you what I told them. It's all about movement, freedom, um, being with someone very supportive, reliable, someone you can um, that can take you long distances. Tell me about Virgo's energies, please. What are Virgo's energies? In this connection, what are Virgo's energies? Okay. We got the buffalo. Interesting. So you have a lot of faith in this connection, a lot of um, hope or just trust in the path ahead. The buffalo is is not um doesn't back down from a challenge is not scared by whatever might be coming their way they're just steady moving forward steadily moving forward if i could speak english that would be nice interesting i just feel the energies that i'm picking up here is slow movement like like just slow, crocodile buffalo, slow movement. And then behind them is like the horse, which moves very fast and the octopus, which is very like, I feel like a lot of energy back there. So it's almost like inwardly, you have a lot of energy for each other, but on the outside, you're very quiet, pensive, no movement, if that makes sense. Makes sense to me. So let's see, let's see what the tarot has to say. Spirit, tell me about what is going on here for Virgo, about their person and their connection. Tell me more about this connection. Let's start with Virgo's person. What can you tell me about Virgo's person and their energies at this time? 
You can tell me about Virgo's person. What are their energies? Five of Pentacles reversed, Ace of Wands reverse. So they want to come out of the cold um, and have a new beginning. Oh, the Three of Wands, they want to come out. Three of Wands, they want to come out. It wanted to come out earlier and I put it back. That's why I, I don't mind putting cards back because if they're meant to come out, they will. Again, this waiting, like, waiting with expectation, um, wanting a new beginning, but this new beginning is blocked for your person. And um, maybe they feel abandoned or they just want to come back in out of the cold. What's at the bottom? Yeah, they want to overcome whatever painful ending happened between you, um, whatever discussion or fight there was. Um, it's like they want that to be over. Um, possibly they want to apologize or th probably they think that maybe enough time has passed that this ending won't affect your connection as much. Let's see. What are your energies, Virgo? What are Virgo's energies? King of Swords. So you want to talk. You want the truth and nothing but. What else can you tell me about Virgo's energies? You've had a change, your, your mind has changed about something and there's something here that's not being communicated. Maybe there's not a lot of communication on your end or on both of your end, uh, between you and your person period. Uh, because I have the five of pentacles over there and that to me is, it could, it could indicate distance. Maybe you haven't been honest about something with your person What's going on here? What are the mutual energies here? What are the mutual energies between these two? It's way too many. What are the mutual energies between Virgo and their person? Yeah, there's something here that hasn't been said. Some sort of deception or almost like you're hiding from each other, hiding the truth, not telling the full story. And it has to do with an ending. I feel like one of you or both of you have not moved on from this ending. And it's probably your person because I have the octopus over there, but it could be both of you. And again, you, you know, feel free to flip these energies if they resonate more too, because it could go both ways. You could be on this side for a go, you person be on the other. But just to make things not confusing, I'm just going to say that that's your person and this is you. So I feel like there has been some sort of ending between you and it's like someone's not, they're not over it or they, they haven't been able to, you know, it's like they, they might say that they've moved on. They might say that they've forgiven and, and everything's hunky dory, but that's not the whole truth. Have the nine of cups reversed. So a wish was not granted here. Or if someone got their wish, you know, let's say someone caused this ending thinking they could be happy. Um, it's It hasn't been the case. Let me clarify these energies for Virgo, please. Let me clarify these energies for Virgo, please. Tell me about the Five of Pentacles reverse. Actually, no, let's look at what happened here with this ending between you. Tell me about the Page of Swords reverse. What is not being said here? What is not being communicated or hidden? What's this Page of Swords reversed about? It 
Seven of Wands. This is Page of Swords reversed about. This is Page of Swords reversed about. The Sun. I feel like someone's being defensive against something that makes them happy. Or refusing, this could be self-deception, lying to themselves about what makes them happy, about, you know, it's almost like they don't want to admit that this person was the right person for them. It could be that they're putting on a happy face, even though inside there's a lot of turmoil or they're dealing with a lot of conflict, you know? They could be fighting themselves, you know, having this fight within themselves. Very interesting reading. Tell me about the Ten of Swords reverse. It's almost like they're fighting to convince someone that they're truly happy. Tell me about the Ten of Swords reverse. What's this Ten of Swords about for Virgo? There you are, Virgo. Being withdrawn, pensive, thoughtful. Whatever ending this this is, or whatever ending happened, I feel like someone's still thinking about it. Seeking answers about what happened in the past, why things ended, how things ended. Tell me more about the Ten of Swords reverse. Ready to move on, possibly, or wanting to move on, but they're still thinking about what happened. Tell me about the Ten of Swords reverse. King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy there. Maybe you are very successful or thinking about someone that's doing very well. Maybe you want to be stable and grounded. Maybe you want commitment. Maybe one of you is married or one of you is in a commitment and the other person is still thinking about them. There was no victory where whatever happened in this end with this ending, there was no victory or it wasn't successful. So let's see, what is this five of pentacles reversed about for your person? What is this five of pentacles reversed about? Emperor energy. So someone here wants to take matters into their own hands, make something happen. Tell me more about the five of pentacles reversed they want to come back in yeah and it's going to be surprising to someone it's going to be a shock they might shock you or they might cause a tower wherever they are tell me about the ace of wands reverse Yeah, they want a new. Uh, they want to take a risk here on a new beginning, even though something possibly wasn't able to manifest before. They want to take a risk now. Tell me about the Ace of Wands reverse. Could be dealing with an Aries, a Virgo, a Leo, or a Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. But those are just the signs I see. It does not have to be that person. Those are just the energies there. Four of Pentacles reversed. So this could be someone letting go of something. Letting go of what they thought was going to make them happy. And they're waiting with expectations now. Patiently waiting. Um, you know, they could be sending a message and waiting to hear back or um, 
Maybe they've been planning this tower for a while and now they're waiting for the right time. What's this Three of Wands about? What's this Three of Wands about? Wow, Queen of Pentacles reverse. And then I have the Six of Swords at the bottom. Could be leaving someone behind, someone that they uh, were in a commitment with or they're not no longer giving to something. Tell me more about this Three of Wands. They're either waiting to be stable and right now they're not. Tell me more about the Three of Wands. This one. Yeah, it's, it's just not the right time possibly or they're 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 needing courage because it's just very difficult right now. Maybe they don't have the strength right now to 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 leave to make this this change. You know? So there's an ending that someone you know a change that someone wants to make um but they're either delayed from a departure here or they, they don't have the strength or the courage or the resources with the Queen of Pentacles. With the Wheel of Fortune reverse, things are, it's not like you can't make things happen, but they're just so, so difficult because you're dealing, it's like you're swimming against the current. So let's see, what about you over here? What's this? Wait a second, did I put back the Wheel of Fortune? <laughs> ah, that's going to bother me. All right, so let's see. What's this? I can ask my question. What's this King of Swords about? What is King of Swords doing here, Spirit? Two kings here, one queen so far. Okay, so someone wants to talk about the bad judgment call they made or about their past mistakes. Tell me about the King of Swords, please. Possibly wanting to come together here, reunite, get together to talk about something. So you want to talk about either the third party or um, about what happened in the past, the mistakes that were made in the past. Tell me about the Four of Cups reverse. Yeah, someone here is having a change of heart about their person, about someone that they care about. You're having a change of heart, changing your mind about the path that you took or what path you want to take now. But you definitely like care about this person. Like this is a, this is your person. Can I get one more for this Four of Cups reverse? Ten of Wands. This has been a burden for you. Th this has probably been a long time coming. Um, how you feel about this person or your issues with this person. Maybe you've been carrying a burden for a long time and now you need to speak up. Or make a choice. Tell me about this Ace of Swords reverse. What's this Ace of Swords reverse? This is deception, lack of clarity, no communication, the Hierophant, Taurus energy. Some of you are definitely dealing with a Taurus. Tell me more about the Ace of Swords reverse. Tell me about the Ace of Swords reverse, please. Interesting. Here someone's leaving a commitment. So there's no either there's no communication about someone leaving a commitment 
or a deception about someone leaving a commitment here. Very interesting. Can I get one more for this Ace of Swords reverse? Or someone could be leaving a Taurus behind if it's not a commitment. How about the Ace of Swords reverse? Nine of Pentacles. Someone here wants to be free. Either they're not communicating that Free to love. So something to do with this Ace of Cups for sure. Someone here, I think it's, this is your side Virgo and this is my card for Virgo. Um, you want love. And in order to get love, you need to leave a situation or you need to leave something behind. Also, it could be that someone's lying to you or not communicating the fact that they're bringing this cup of love to you. And in order to do that, they had to leave a commitment. It could go both ways. Behind that, I have the Ten of Cups and behind that, the Page of Cups. Behind that, the Moon Reversed. So this is coming to light. 